Hey everyone. Welcome back. In this video I will teach you how you can do daytime lighting for ArchViz in Unreal Engine. So let's get started. First and foremost, we need a GPU light mask script, which you can download from the link in the description. Once you download it simply copy and paste it to their right locations. Once done run the Unreal and create a project. We need to do some changes in the project before we do anything. Go to the project setting and rendering. First we change the reflections resolution to 256 for better looking reflections. You can go higher but for our scene this much will work. Let's turn off the bloom, ambient occlusion exposure and motion blur. All these we can turn on according to our need from the post process volume. And we are also going to bake the AO in the light maps, so we don't need it for now. Before we restart we need to enable some plugins. First one is Datasmith Importer, so that we can import our 3D file. And another one is HDR Backdrop. Now we can restart it. This is our model which I will export it as Unreal Datasmith file. You can also download this file from the link in the description if you want to follow along. Let's take a look at lighting references. This is the kind of lighting I want to achieve. The lights which is coming from outside is little bluish. And we have warm light inside. We are also getting some glow or bloom as well. So I'll try to replicate it too. As for the warm light we have a kitchen area in our foyer model. We can place the warm light in that area. Same for the bluish light that will enter from these big windows. I also have an another reference for the same light pattern we can study that as well. Let's get started now. First create a folder for the models to keep it clean. Then we import the file through the Datasmith importer. In our case we only need geometry and materials just to get the material ID. Later I will replace all the materials. From here we can change the light map resolution, if you don't want to we can change them later as well. Let's block these open areas, so we don't get unnecessary lights coming inside from every direction. Just to let you know I am using this material pack from Marketplace which is completely free. You can download it from the link in the description. So our scene is ready for the lighting let's try building the first lighting pass and see what results we will get. First add the HDR backdrop. If you want to know how to create your own HDR without camera you can watch this video or check the link in the description. Let's just replace all the materials before I build the lights. I have replaced all the materials. Let's change the background and position it correctly.
Now we need to add the light mass importance volume, and it does what it says. It gives accurate light results in the covered area. So let's cover the area where we want accurate light results. Now we need a reflection capture box which will capture its surrounding and bake them in the reflection maps. Before we build let's check the light maps. Not that bad we can change them to higher resolution in our final build. Now go to world settings and light mass settings. I will change the static and num values later for better results. But we need to check ambient occlusion and make sure we have at least 1024 PL and SM resolutions. Let's add the chrome ball in the scene to check skylight map position, if it's not at the correct location we can visualize it on the ball and fix it. Then we are ready to build our first light pass. So our first preview light have built. We can see a lot of noises because we haven't modified static and num sky values. And the light maps resolutions are not high enough. The light we build is on the preview quality as well. We can see the scene is dark too, so let's increase skylight bounces and add the directional light. And set its position according to the HDR. And then I'll build the light again. Now the scene is properly lit. I also changed the directional light value to 50. Off camera. We can notice the HDR is looking dark, so let's increase its intensity to match with interior lights. Looking better now. Let's add the post-process volume and do some changes in the exposure. If you do remember we had glow in the high contrast areas. Let's replicate it. Now we have to do some white balance. As you can see we are getting green tint and the light coming from outside is also warm. Let's fix it. Go to white balance and change the tint. The opposite of green which will be red, this will help us to reduce green tint from the scene. And same for the temp take it to its opposite side to make the scene look cool.
it was important to do this earlier because now I am going to add the warm light in the kitchen area, so now I can easily set the right warm color in its temp. Before build the third light pass let's do some changes in the static lighting level. Lower the better. Let's double the num and direct lighting bounce. Sky bounces to 3. And that's it for the light mass setting and now let's build it. Alright our lights looking beautiful now. Before the final light build let's do some color grading to enhance the scene more. Now we are ready to build our final lights and fix all these weird noises. Let's increase the light map resolution by selecting the individual asset. Go to the details and search for light maps. Change it to higher value, but make sure it's under the PL and SM resolution value which was 1024. Just make sure the more visible areas should look orange or red. Now we are ready to build our final light. Here are the final results. Rest I will do some camera work and render them out. If you like my work, support me by like share and subscribe to the channel. This gives me more motivation to create this type of content and present it in simplest way possible. And thank you so much for all the love and support on my previous videos. I much appreciate it. There are so many things to cover regarding the environment designs, lighting, tips and tricks which is not possible to cover in one video, so stay in touch by subscribing to the channel so you don't miss when I upload in future, and share this free knowledge with everyone, just as I am sharing it with you.